Hello Divination and welcome to our mini series 5 ways on how to style Divi's countdown timer module. The countdown timer module is very important because it can be used on several pages. For example, sales pages, coming soon pages or any page that has time sensitive information. So in this mini series, I'll be showing you step by step how to style these pages and make them look very creative. The goal of this mini series and all our mini series is to provide you with free, fun and practical web design exercises that will improve your mastery of the DV WordPress theme one day at a time. So this is the final design we'll be working towards in today's quick tip. As you can see, we have an animated gradient on the countdown timer. After adding the CSS, you can see we also have this drop down shadow on the um, countdown timer itself and also on the text. Now this allows this to really pop out and really stand out. All right, so what you need to do is we need to have a few things in place to achieve this design. So first of all, we're gonna need the CSS, which I'll link in the show notes below. Secondly, we're gonna need some CSS from a website called Gradient Animator. And this is the website we're gonna to use to generate our gradient that we're gonna use in the background of our countdown timer. All right, so let's dive in. Let me show you step-by-step step how we managed to create this. So the first thing we need to do is to make sure that we are in the uh, admin dashboard of our website and we need to add a new page. So I'm gonna to go to pages and then click add new. So let's just call this page GTT. And then I'm gonna click on use the DV builder and use visual builder. So in the visual builder, the first thing we need to do here is to make sure that we add a single row and in that row, we need to add the countdown timer. So I'm just gonna add the countdown timer and um, you need to add the date. So here I'm just gonna count down to Valentine's Day, which is February the 14th next year. And we can see here it's 74 days away. So next we need to add the background color. So I'm just gonna click and then paste the um, hexadecimal code like that. So that's the color we're gonna go for. And next we need to go into design. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna change all the fonts to open sans. We're gonna start off with the um, numbers font. So here we're gonna change this to open sans. And we're gonna make sure it's all caps and it's bold. And we're gonna reduce the size to about 60 because 64 is a bit too big. Okay, so um, we need to do the same on the labels font. Again, as we did before, we need to make sure that this is open sans. And we're also gonna make it bold and all caps. Now here the size is 14. I'm just gonna bump it up a little bit to 15. And that's all we need to do here on the design. Okay, so what we need to do next is to add the CSS class. So I'm just gonna paste the class in here and then I'm gonna go ahead and save. So next, what we need to do is to add the CSS to style this particular page. So the difference between adding the CSS on this actual page and adding it in the theme options is when we add the CSS code on this page, it applies the changes to this particular page, whereas on the other option, it applies the CSS throughout the whole page. So in this example, we just need to apply the CSS onto this page. So I'm gonna come here to the CSS tab and paste the CSS code like that. So we can see we have the rounded corners and we also have this drop down shadow, but we still haven't added the animated background. So to achieve the animated background, what you need to do is to go to gradientanimator.com. Now the uh, exact colors that we used in this tutorial can be found on the blog post itself, which I've linked in the show notes. So the first color should be added here and this is the value of the color and this is where the second color goes. Okay, so once you have those two colors in place, copy the code and then paste it in your CSS tab. And then I'm gonna add a few spaces and then I'm gonna press enter. Right, so now that we have the code for the uh, gradient uh, background, we're not done yet because we just need to uh, make one more last change for this to work. So what we need to do is to enter this CSS class. So if I paste it here, you can see this is the same class that we have right here on the top. And we want this to be applied to this 
countdown timer. So it has an opening bracket here. So what we need to do is to add the last closing bracket just before we get to this at sign on the WebKit, WebKit keyframes. So I'm going to add my last bracket and we can see here straight away the, the animation has been applied. So once you're done with that, just go ahead and save and then you need to publish the page. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching and if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. We will be producing daily video quick tips similar to what you've seen today. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.